hello guys and welcome back to the channel in this tutorial i'm going to share with you how to use winx dvd ripper this is a very simple software that you can use to back up and rip all your dvd files in just within just five minutes or the about uh, with the perfect balance of speed quality and file size winx dvd ripper is a top dvd ripping tool ideal for mac users or even windows users it effortlessly converts any DVD homemade, commercial or even damaged DVDs to popular formats like MP4, HEVC, .move and many more other formats. Okay, so with over 350 preset profiles that you can find within the software, you can easily make your DVDs compatible with iPhone, Android phones and other devices. So without taking much of our time, let's dive in and see how to preserve your DVD collections that you've been using over the years and enjoy it on any device anywhere in the world uh, from now on. To access the DVD Reaper, all you need is to click on the link I have for you in the description. And to download is pretty, pretty simple. You can just come over here and download and then you can start using. There are quite a lot to see here. But then once you download it's very easy to install and to activate it is equally very very easy so once you download and you've activated let's say we have the software here so this is the software once you open it let me take you through some of the things that you have to look at once you start using the software the first thing is you have to define which location you want your folder to go to directly by default it's going to mark video library from movies and this folder you can change it if you want to you can just click on browse and you can go ahead and specify exactly where you want to um, save your DVDs while exporting. So assuming I want to save mine here, I can just define it. Now I'm done with defining destination folder. Now over here, you can see we can rip documents or data from disk, DVD disk. If you have DVD disk connected to your system, once you click on this, it is going to pop up and you're going to have access to it. Then you can rip folders also from rip folders directly. If you have a folder containing a DVD file, you can just click over here and you have access to that folder and you can do a lot of conversion to different profiles available like I'm going to show you today. And then next we have the ISO format. You can change your Reaper directly from an ISO to convert it to any well, from document or to any format of the DVD, depending. You can clear the options, you can clear the selections. So, and you have some basic options over here, which we're going to look at also. But then getting started, you can rip your disk, you can convert your disk in just three simple steps. Uh, just click on the DVD, if this the DVD you are, you've added, you've connected to your system, or the ISO, you can just click and then import. Choose one target format. Once you import either from DVD or from the image ISO or from a folder, you can just choose one target format that you want to convert. And with just that simple click of run, it is going to start the conversion and it's just going to do it like magic. So for this example, let's try to look at these basic options. These are very basic things if you're interested in changing, for example, the video folder, the snapshot folder. If you're taking snapshots, where do you want it to save? You can click on this and you can define this um, already. We've done the video. If you want to do for the snapshot also, you can do that and you can change language. These are very basic things. So let's start by importing an ISO file and let's see how it is going to help us to be ripped or to be converted to another profile. So let's click on image ISO. Now again, here you can define from DVD, from DVD folder or from DVD ISO file, which is my own case. So I can go to browse and go directly to my test file, which is an ISO file. You can just click and select it and open and see and it has auto detect that this is an ISO file. This is the path it has defined and we can just go ahead and click on open. I will just one second, you see it has opened everything and then it has given us our suggested output profiles. Like we said, there are so many profiles in which you can output your document. So right now it has given us general profile, which is MP4 video, which is recommended. 
you can play around with the quality this goes to lower quality this goes to higher quality but then higher sizing usually keep it at default for better quality and, and low sizing as well so middle is is perfect and you can see this is h.264 resolution and so on but if you are interested in other formats like iphone ipad android phone you can select in each one each one of them or you can come down here and see uh, many other features or many, many other formats also from the general profiles so you can see this is other profiles like the apple device profile you can see you can see other profiles you can select depending on what you are trying to create you can see many many other profiles or formats that you can convert your document or your, your videos into but at the moment we can go down you can see microsoft devices sony devices other devices you can see youtube videos you can convert directly facebook video vimeo video and general so many more options over here the tv videos can go but for this tutorial we're just going to stay at the general profile and we're going to stay at the main video so once you select general profile main video you can say okay to this but then let's go back a little bit you can say done but are you going to do it for just the simple title one which is for the first track or because we have many tracks over here you can see title one title two uh, many tracks so if you want to do for only title one you can just go ahead and say run and if you want to do for the multiple you can just click keep clicking keep adding keep adding them directly now another thing that i want to show you is you can double click on any track and you have option to um, do some things over here this is general you can increase the volume you can add subtitles if you are interested in adding subtitles you can enable subtitles and you can add directly manually if you're interested you can change the language and so on the position of the subtitle you can be at the top at the center or at the bottom and you can apply it to all right and then over here you can trim the video you can trim from some sections you can say enable trimming and you can define the number of the timing over here start time and end time or on your own manually you can click to trim this section of the video directly from here select the section of the video that you want to trim for example let's say from here you can just click and then you can trim over here you can come over here as well click and trim and then once you're done you can just go ahead and say uh, done you can select this that you're done and you can rotate the video okay on any section you can rotate it if you're interested uh, very easily you can do that okay so much to do so once you're done you say okay to this and you can say done everything is ripped so you can just go ahead once you are okay with everything that you have you can go ahead and have a preview also from here you can stop if you want to all these default hardware encoder use high quality engine safe mode i don't touch anything i keep it at default so once you're done assuming i'm going to go with just this one uh, title i can just go ahead and say run and you're going to see it's just going to repeat very very fast and very very um, perfectly let's just give some seconds to finish the ripping and then we can look at the result at the end okay so right now it has finished the ripping you can see our file over here um, it is finished you can see the sizing it has just finished uh, converting it and this is dot mp4 and once you double click it is just going to start playing um, your video you can see how fast and how the quality is maintained actually so ladies and gentlemen this concludes this tutorial about how to use the winx dvd ripper to enjoy ripping your dvd files or your dvd uh, document or an iso file convert it to any format of your choice so go ahead if you have some dvd files that you are interested in converting or ripping on your own you can just go ahead and convert them to any profile of your choice and then you can have them stored or viewed in any format of your choice i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye